If you can't kill a boss, no reason why you can't look like one. Moogle, putting the wow in transmogs. The brown and felt green work really well here. The shoulders, black fang, battle weave, spaulders. This is a heroic version of Dragon Soul Hagger of the Stormbinder as the boss, 22% on the drop rate. Pick up those old tier shoulders out of Dragon Soul. The chest, an easy pickup. You can buy it off of Quartermaster, the Kaluak. <laughs> Say that 18 times really fast. Matter of fact, 18 gold to pick up the whale skin breastplate. Moving on, the belt, girdle of night and day, throwing a thunder, LFRs, when as the boss, 18% on the drop rate. Gonna stick with Lady Void Elf, and she's going to show us the legs, part of the same drop set as the chest. This is from Charlotte Champion, though. Edric's Cash, 5% off with the leggings of Brazen Trespass. Very roguelike name. Moving on, we have an orc here who's showing you the feet. Treads of Dismal Fortune, Trial of the Crusader. I believe those two pieces are alliance only, so just keep that in mind. We just show the orcs so people get ideas of different outfits they can put together. Uh, the Hands, Hand Guards of Winter's Respite, Ice Crown Citadel, Heroic 25 Man, Lord Maragar, 15% on the drop rate. Moving on, we're going to show you the back, which is Daybreak, or yeah, Daybreak Drape. Terrace of the Endless Spring, Heroic, a Cache of Sulong, so it's an easy pickup. Always like the, that, that cape. Toria's Perseverance, Tanan Jungle, various mobs, or you could buy it on the au auction house to get that brown eye patch. And the weapon really works well here. Blazing Demon Hilt Sword. You might have heard of Red Balls. <laughs> <laughs> but red balls on the shoulder work here. Uh, Burning Throne Heroic Hulking Demolisher is the boss for the Flamefell Infernal Shoulder Pads. They're very, very hot balls, so be sure you're wearing some kind of protective gloves when you pick them up. Conqueror's Terror Blade Breastplate, which is out of Old War, Cash of Winter. Kind of a fair drop rate for that rogue tier set from Wrath of the Lich King. We have a Dark Iron Dwarf showing the Cinch of Detestable Guile. This is from Time Walking version of black temple you can see the boss kind of a fair drop right that's kind of like a druid belt so there might be lookalikes check wow hit for that conqueror's terror plate leg plates old war freeze gift kind of fair drop rate part of the same tier set as the chest moving on we have a lady undead showing the boots of artful dodging the road order hall uh mysterious crates uh five percent drop rate on that really like those boots you can't really see it so well though on an undead the hands dream sculptors gloves the emerald nightmare as you can see the boss on a five percent drop rate for those hands i think it goes really well with this set and moving on to the back which is straight out of freehold sky captain craig drops the parrot feather cloak there's a green and a red version so hopefully you get the color you need the head is the conqueror actually the green would go with this as well conqueror's terror plate Helmet, which is at a dollar on, you can buy that piece for gold. And the weapon, Soul Blade, Nax Ramus, Kel'Thuzad, 24% drop rate. Going to start off with the shoulders, which we're going to pick up from Netherstorm, the BC PvP vendor, two marks of honor. Actually, I think it's three. It might be two because it's a BC piece, but that's a very easy pickup nonetheless. The shirt or the chest piece is the Valorous Terrorblade Breastplate. Out of Ulduar, Yog Saren is the boss. Kind of a fair drop rate on the chest piece. Moving on to the belt, which we're going to pull from your PvP vendor, Grievous Gladiator's Waistband of Action. Accuracy, that's a mob PvP vendor. One mark of honor for the belt. Easy, easy pickup. Moving on, we're going to show you the legs. Part of the same tier set as the shoulders from the Cache of Winter. Wooldwar, same place as the chest piece. Kind of a fair drop rate on those. Next up, we're going to show you the boots. I love these boots. These boots look really great on any given leather wearer. You get them from Razor Scale in Wooldwar, 8% on the drop rate. Did the spin showed you the cloak the hands merciless gladiators leather gloves bc pvp vendor which of course is nether storm part of the same tier set as the shoulders and the headpiece i believe the back dark leather cloak vanilla level leather working super easy to pick up the tabard nightfall and tabard suramar first arcanist thalisra gold and exalted rep to pick that up the headpiece valorous terrorblade helmet 
Old War Cache of Innovation, 25% drop. Moving on to the weapon, Soul Blade, awesome looking weapon, next Ramus, 10 man, Kel'Thuzad. Going with a little bit of a pirate look for rogues, which of course works, Ruthless Gladiators, Leather, Spalders, Cata PvP Vendor, which of course is Stormwind, Rogamar, three marks of honor to pick up those shoulders. Moving on to pick up the chest piece, you're going to have to go to the Burning Throne. Heroic Essence of Enar is the boss. Fair drop rate on the vest of the Dashing Scoundrel. We'll talk about pirates. Absolutely pirate theme there. Moving on to the belt, which is the Feather Flight Belt. Throne of Thunder. Jai Kun. Kun. Jai Kun. G Kun. G Q. <laughs> At 5% on the drop rate, nonetheless, for the belt. Moving on to the legs are out of the Burning Throne. Part of the same tier set as the chest. Flame Reaver and 5% on the drop rate. I think I have uh, a shirt underneath here, which is uh, which is the antiseptic shirt. Just, I'm not 100% sure, but I think it is there. Uh, the feet are Voldoon. Uh, you get it out of a Jammu, will drop it, or you can buy it on the auction house. I think this looks really cool on a goblin, honestly. Ruthless Gladiator's Leather Gloves are the hands. Kata PvP Vendor, two marks, actually. I believe it's three marks of honor. I made a mistake there. Oh, it's two. The hands are definitely two. And, of course, we have a Magthar Orc showing you the back, which is Battle of Dazzle Ahar. And the headpiece, very, very pirate-like, freehold. Harlan Sweet is the boss, 5% on the drop rate. Lots of pirate stuff going on there. And the weapon is a quest reward out of Drusvar. This is a pirate theme with a little bit of the sea theme, so it does work. Pirates are on the sea. The Eternal Palace Mythic Radiance of Ashara is the boss. Kind of a low drop rate on those shoulders, so keep in mind that's the mythic version. Moving on to the chest, which is the Vest of the Dashing Scoundrel. That's the regular version of the Burning Throne, Essence of Enar. Kind of a low drop rate on that. Moving on to the belt, which is part of the same tier set as the shoulders and the gloves, by the way. Out of Mythic Eternal Palace, Blackwater Behemoth drops it 5% on the drop rate. Got a Lady Night Elf continuing to show us the legs here. Pants of the Dashing Scoundrel, part of the same set as the chest. As you can see, the boss, 5% on the drop rate from that Legion tier. Moving on, we have an undead looking really sharp with the feet, which are Vile Drifter's foot pads. Greater invasion points, there's the boss. Kind of a fair drop rate, so it's going to be a little bit of a sketchy pickup, but worth the effort. Moving on to the hands, the gloves of... Incomparable beauty. Is there anybody prettier than this undead dude? Probably a lot of people are. Uh, the Eternal Palace Mythic. Looking pretty sharp on a Lady Goblin. The Cloak of Certain Reprieve. Nether Storm. This is a PvP vendor piece. Easy pickup. The headpiece. Nether Storm Eye Patch. It's a quest reward. So you get it out of Nether Storm, of course. And the weapon. Interesting looking weapon out of Karazhan BC Morose is the boss 17% drop. Kicking off with a alliance-only piece. Of course, if you kick them, you could silence me. <laughs> uh, Dreadful Gladiator's Leather Spalders, Mop PvP Vendor. You can also buy it on the auction house from someone who crafted it. It says two marks of honor, made a boo-boo, it's three. Uh, the chest is also PvP uh, from Legion. So you got to buy the whole set from the Legion PvP vendor in Dalaran. Moving on, we're going to show you the belt, the Flay Demon Skin Belt, Hellfire Citadel, various mobs, or you could just basically buy it on the auction house. So that's a nice little drop if you could find it. Moving on, the Fearless Gladiator's Leather Leggards, part of the same tier set as the Chess, which is a Legion PvP set for rogues. Gonna have to buy the whole set, Marks of Honor. Got a human dude showing you the feet. Taxicologists, treated boots. I don't know if I'd want to wear those. Uh, Hellfire Citadel, Kill Rock, Dead Eye. 12% on the drop rate, but they work really well with this set. Dreadful Gladiator's Leather Gloves, part of the same tier set as the Shoulders. So you're going to have to check your local PvP vendor to pick those up. 
Moving on, we're going to show you the back, which is the Platinum Mesh Cloak, which you get out of dollar on from your Legacy Quartermaster, 140 gold, so that's pretty easy on the pickup. And the head, as you can see, Hellfire Citadel. Dia Dark Whisper is the ball. It's 12% on the drop rate. Now those weapons are straight out of Ice Crown Citadel Heroic 10 man, as you can see, depending on the faction, the boss. If you're still listening up and until now, I want to say thank you for watching. And I'll close out by saying what I always say, whatever it is by you, whether it is morning, afternoon, or night, make your day 